Number three, six diner, Sierra Tango. Piper Malibu Mirage, 2006 model here. Avidine glass. Currently uh, about uh, 30 minutes out of uh, our Sarsawak, Greenland. On my way to uh, 62 North, 040 West, the waypoint on the way over to uh, Reykjavik, Iceland. And uh, wind's log forecast is looking pretty good. We're up and level. The engine is running well, and uh, we have not passed the point of no return. The uh, wind's log forecast has a lot of arrows on here. I really don't understand them. Nah, just kidding. Uh, got a little push going here, coming out of uh, Greenland, about 50 knots uh, off the left quartering tail. It's given us uh, uh, looking like about a 30 knot uh, component of a tailwind. And uh, that's going to shear off, though, uh, about midway across, right about the point of no return. So I'm looking for a fuel bingo of something on the order of uh, uh, 45 or 50 gallons at destination in the computer at this time, knowing that that's going to be uh, eroded when we get into the lighter winds. Uh, it becomes a more uh, uh, focused tailwind, that is, it turns around to the tail, but it shears off to 25 and then uh, uh, even 20 and 15 knots. By then I'll be in the descent anyway, so I'm not sure I really care about that. Uh, I know I've got the fuel for the mission on this one. So the point of no return is is a uh, an academic exercise unless there's uh, a problem with the engine, of course. In which case, that makes that decision a lot easier. As you can see on the map, there we're just uh, coming over. This is in the uh, uh, arc map mode, so we're down here at the bottom of the screen. We're just coming over feet wet over the uh, the southeastern uh, portion of the Greenland. Uh, area, and uh, it's a little hard to tell where the land stops and uh, the water begins. Uh, this is late March, it's the 25th of March, and it's still winter up here. Uh, airborne temperature now is minus 39 degrees Celsius. Uh, surface temperatures at NARS were uh, quite comfortable, uh, not quite shirt sleeve, but uh, bright sun, so a lot of radiant energy. And what we're looking out at here now is really uh, ice pack associated with uh, uh, a freaking cold air out here. It's uh, just a beautiful place, but very, very cold. And uh, over here on the right-hand side, or on the south side of the airplane, you can see a more definite line of, of demarcation uh, between the water and the ice pack. And uh, yeah, definitely a, a beautiful place. Um, our route today takes us over the 6240 and then to 6330, which is 63 north, 30 west, and then to the intersection Embla, Echo Mike, Bravo, Lima Alpha, and then on into uh, Reykjavik. Uh, the last time I was there, uh, the weather was, was horrendous. And uh, I guess, you know, we knew it was bad, but we really didn't have any choice because it was getting worse uh, the following day. and. Uh, it was uh, 1,200 overcast, moderate rain showers, or correction, moderate rain and ice pellets. Uh, winds gusting to 67 knots, so it was a, a real treat. That was a couple of years ago. This time, uh, no such luck. We're going to have uh, pretty good weather going in there. I'm going to get an update here in a minute so we know more, but it's uh, certainly doable from what I learned on the ground at uh, ours. So there's all the news that's fit to print. I uh, hope you're having a good day. I certainly am. And uh, looks like about another two hours and 24 minutes to our uh, destination. Uh, maybe even a little less if the wind uh, if the wind stays true. So enjoy your day. And uh, always remember, fly safely, train often. This is Dick Rochford. Bye for now.